Hello and welcome to Professor Pincushion. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you the sewing process on how to get a perfect looking v-neck. Let's go ahead and get started. In order to prep my v-neck, the first thing I'm going to do is a stay stitch. And you can actually see my stay stitch already here. So this is just a regular length straight stitch. And what it does, it prevents the neckline from distorting and getting misshapen. Now, because we are going to be trimming the seam allowance and cutting notches into it, it also helps prevent fraying past the stitch line. So it's a permanent stitch that's gonna stay in. I'm doing this a half inch from the raw edge. So I'm measuring from this edge and going in a half inch and that's where my stay stitch is going to be. For my particular example, I'm gonna be doing a facing to my neckline, but if you're doing something like a lining, these same concepts can apply. You'll notice on my pattern here, I have a stitching line. Now this stitching line is at the seam allowance. It's at the 5 8 line. So even if you don't have the stitching line, you can go ahead and add it to the wrong side of your facing or lining piece because it does come in handy. And the reason why they have this is because as you're sewing your 5 8 seam allowance after this is pinned to your neckline, you're fine until you get past this point and you need to continue on till you get to the middle of your V. But once you get to this point, then it's really hard to see where the 5 8 line is. That's why they went ahead and drew a stitching line or you can draw it yourself. So it's very easy just to stay on that line. And for me, if you don't have it on your pattern, what you can do is grab my sewing gauge, mark it at the 5 8 line, put it at the edge, do a couple of marks, and then just draw a line. If you make your line a little bit longer, it's fine because you're just gonna sew where these lines cross. So when I'm sewing, I'm sewing here. Once I get to the very point of it, I'm gonna pivot and then continue sewing up here. And once you get, get past this point, then it should be fine maintaining your 5 8 seam allowance. Both pieces now are going to be pinned together right side to right side. So I'm gonna be pinning my facing to the neckline, making sure the raw edges are all lining up so everything is matching. Now, if you're doing a facing or you're doing a lining, what this piece is doing is helping you finish the raw edge. After I pin this, I'm gonna go ahead and take it to my machine. I'm sewing at my 5 8 line, and you can see I'm using the stitch line as a guideline because I can't see where that 5 8 line is anymore. I'm just getting to the point, so I'm gonna put my needle down when I get to that area, lift my foot, and then pivot the fabric so then I can start on the next line. And that's gonna give you a nice sharp V, which is what we want. If I were to simply take my facing or lining and turn it to the inside of the garment, you may end up with something that looks like this. Now this looks like a design detail, but you can see the fabric is bunching up right where the V-neck is and it's pulling in different areas. This is why it's very important that we trim the area before we turn it to the inside. For the neckline to lie a little bit flatter, I went ahead and trimmed my seam allowance. So I left about a quarter of an inch here. I also cut in these notches. So that's gonna help alleviate some of the fabric from bunching up. Just make sure that you don't actually cut into your seam line stitches because we don't actually wanna create a hole. For this area down here at the very point, I trimmed away as much fabric as I possibly can, going down as far as I can to the actual stitches. Because we're trimming a lot away, it's a good idea to do the seam line twice, at least in this area. That way you'll make it a little bit more stable. If you turn this to the inside and it's still bunching up a little bit here, it just means you need to trim away more fabric. So you're just trying to get rid of as much as you can. Now after you trim it, and if you're dealing with fabric that tends to fray a lot, especially in this area, you could use a little bit of fabric sealant that kind of helps prevent fraying and that should help. Next, I like to do an understitch. You're gonna take your facing or lining, pull it away from your garment. Make sure your seam allowance stays closed and goes underneath the facing or lining side so I can feel it, my seam allowance, right here. Then you're gonna take it to your machine and you're gonna stitch as close as you can to the seam line. Now for this area here, you're just gonna do the best you can. We don't have a lot of seam allowance anyways. You're just going to go as far as you can and do the best you can. It's going to end up on the inside of the garment anyways, and what it's going to do is help us turn 
our facing or lining to the inside of the garment and it will look a little bit more clean. I'm sewing my straight stitches right next to that seam line there and always check to make sure that your seam allowance is on the side of your facing or lining. Let's go ahead and turn this now to the inside of the garment and with the trimming and the understitching, it should be a whole lot easier to do it. Once you get everything flipped to the inside, we're then gonna take it to our machine and we're gonna do a top stitch right on the outside next to the edge just to make it look completely finished. You see I'm doing my top stitch right next to that edge. Now when it comes to doing the V part, you're gonna do the same sort of thing where you're gonna stitch as far as you can to the point, leave your needle in the fabric, lift your foot, and then you're going to pivot it. And that way your stitches will follow right along with the neckline as well. And then just put your foot down and continue on. Here's a final look at our v-neck. You can see that it's definitely lying a lot flatter now. We hope these tips will help you out for the next time you have to sew your own. New tutorials are released weekly, so please subscribe to be notified of the next release. Make sure to check out our other videos and visit ProfessorPincushion.com to view our complete library with well over 200 sewing video tutorials, including our exclusive premium content. Our premium membership is only $5 a month for unlimited access and only available at ProfessorPincushion.com. Also, don't forget to download our mobile app for videos on the go. Thanks for watching.